Hi guys and welcome to Make It At Home For Nothing. Today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing edible P PS5 controller and the FIFA 21 cake is going to be on top of. So let's get started. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon to receive new recipes and don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a rolling pin, some corn flour, some blue fondant and a pizza cutter and this edible image of the FIFA 21 PS5 game. You can purchase these edible images online. I bought this from eBay. Right, so I'm going to dust off my work surface with some corn flour, so the fondant rolls up nicely and doesn't stick to my worktop. Okay, roll it out nice and evenly and large enough for the image to fit. So I keep turning it so it doesn't stick to the board. Okay, we're going to bring our image in and put it on top of our rolled up fondant. Then just trim it round with a pizza cutter for a nice clean cut. Okay, remove the excess fondant, turn it around and keep going until you've cut out the rectangle shape. Okay, so that's that done and we're going to leave that to dry for a few hours or overnight. Now onto the controller. I'm just using a real life PS5 controller here and an actual game cover to see the dimensions so that I have an idea of what the size I, I need to make the controller. So they look in proportion. I'm taking a large piece of white fondant and just checking the size next to my edible PS5 game cover. Okay, now we're just gonna basically make the shape of the controller. Okay, so just shape it until you get the right size and shape that you're looking for. It's handy to have the controller in front of you and it makes it easier to copy. So I'm just shaping this into the shape that I want, like the controller. Just keep on doing this and smoothing it out until you're happy with the shape. Okay, so now I've got my basic shape. I'm just going to um, add on the black part of the controller so just take some black fondant and we're going to roll this out Okay, when you've rolled it out nice and thin, uh, we're going to just trim the sides to make the shape that we need. So I'm just checking it to see the size. It's a bit too big, so I'm gonna do a little bit more trimming. And you just keep checking and trimming until you're happy with it. Yeah, 
I'm quite happy with that. Now we're going to take some edible glue and a paintbrush and stick the black fondant onto the white controller. You can buy edible glue from online retailers, it's very easy to get. Now we're just painting some edible glue onto the white part of the controller so that the black fondant sticks onto it. Now just press firmly so it sticks onto the white part and we're just going to neaten it up a little bit more and make sure it's stuck onto the base. Let's trim off the edges with a sharp knife. And keep pushing and shaping it to look like the PS5 controller. I'm just going to trim it a little bit more. Okay, just push the fondant into the sides and now it looks much neater. Now onto the details. So I've got two black balls of fondant here I'm going to shape into discs and I'm also going to use a ball tool to make an indent where I want them to go. So when you're happy with your discs, use this ball um, tool to push down so that you know where you're going to place your black discs so we just do that as you can see i still have my actual control in front of me so it's easier to copy okay i'm just going to shape these a bit more and if you look closely on the controller there's a little indent so i'm going to use do make these um, using a circle nozzle and making a circle shape on top of the black disc. It's a bit like a mini donut, but I'm not going to go all the way through. Okay, now we look closely. The discs are actually sitting on top of another piece of plastic. Okay, so if you look closely, you can see that there are tiny indents in the controls. So we're going to copy that by using this tool and making little marks on top. Just do that all the way around um, both controllers. Okay, now I'm just adding a small rolled up piece of fondant for the controls to sit on, giving them a more 3D look. Okay, so roll out a piece of black fondant into a small sausage and then Cut that in two so you have equal parts and just add it with some edible glue. So we're just going to stick it on and then the disc on top so it has more of a 3D look. Like that. Okay, do that to the other side. Now we're going to add a little bit more detail. So now you can see um, we're going to make the tiny holes and other details on the controller. So I'm just marking out the, the holes with another tool or you can use a toothpick. And just copy where they are by looking at the actual controller. So now that's done, I'm going to add the other details.
Okay, so now we're gonna just look at the control and see that I have to make the four circles on the side. Okay, the iconic look of the PlayStation consoles. So I'm using a nozzle with a circle shape and just making small circles out of that. Okay, so when you've made your four circles, we're just going to check they're in proportion to the actual controller. And then once they're all cut out, we're going to leave them to dry so that they're easier to draw on. Okay, now we're going on to make the other side. So I'm using a square plunger here. I'm going to make four squares. Okay, if you don't have a square plunger, you can use a knife to cut out four squares to go on the other side of the controller. Now, if you look closely, the shape isn't actually a square. It has a point. So I'm just going to cut the squares so they look like the shape that I want. Okay, it's kind of pointy like an arrow. And then when you're happy with the shape, we're gonna leave those to dry for a few hours and then come back to drawing them with this edible pen. So we can do the details. So now we're gonna make the square, triangle, cross and circle shapes. famous iconic symbols. Okay, so I'm just drawing on the shapes here. Because the shapes are now dry after a few hours, they're much easier to draw on because the fondant has gone hard. And it's very easy to access these edible pens in all different colors online or either at your local craft store. Okay, so I'm just drawing on the shapes and the, the designs that I want after looking at the actual controller. They're basically just little arrows and now using some edible glue and a paintbrush, I'm going to stick them on. So all the circles go on the right hand side of the controller and the modified squares are gonna go on the left. Okay, so use a small paintbrush to carefully attach the shapes in the correct order. Okay, that's the last one, the square goes on the left. That's a bit fiddly. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side with the modified squares we made earlier. It's much easier to handle when the fondant has dried hard. Okay, this is really fun to make and especially for birthday cakes. It will really be a wow factor on your cake. Okay, so that now that's done, we're going to add a few more details. So we can add a few more buttons and now this is optional but you can choose to make the blue lights that turn on when you're using the controller in real life. I think it looks really nice to add a little bit of colour to the boring black and white. So I'm just cutting out some strips here and just paint on some edible glue where you want the strips to go and then basically Add it onto one side and then you do the same thing on the other. Okay, 
basically so just adding on these last finishing touches and just trim that to size it's looking a little bit more realistic now So we'll in the details, so add as much detail as you can. And lastly, of course, you can't forget to draw on the PlayStation logo. So we're using our same edible black pen to make the, the logo on the controller. Make sure you have a steady hand to do this. And it's done. There we go, how easy was that? It looks fantastic. I'm sure you'll have fun making this as well. Okay, so back to our edible game image. Now, if you've ordered the image on icing paper, it should have a clear backing that you have to peel off before you can stick it onto your fondant. So we're going to remove that and then just simply stick it on to your fondant with some edible glue. You don't need a lot of edible glue, just a little bit just to adhere it to the fondant so now that we have our image placed onto the fondant nice and neatly that looks good okay just press it down so it sticks okay I'm just bringing in my controller and checking the proportions of the actual game with the controller looks fine yes I'm just checking the actual real life controller with the the game that I have yeah it looks fine great now it's just time to ice our cake so I have already baked and stacked and crumb coated my six inch vanilla cake now I'm adding some blue buttercream to the sides of course you can make it any color that you want Okay, so I've added my buttercream. Now I'm using my bench scraper to take off any ex excess to get smooth sides. So just keep going and smoothing around the sides until you're happy with the look. It's best to use a metal scraper for this to get a cleaner finish. So just keep going around and taking off the excess buttercream. Okay, I added some blue to the top as well to add a bit more colour. Now I'm going to roll up a piece of fondant and I'm going to place the controller on top of it to lean on so it's not completely flat on top of the cake. And now you can attach all the parts of your cake by either using edible glue or a toothpick or some royal icing. Now I'm just adding some final touches. Some favourite phrases from the YouTuber my son likes to watch, Manny, who loves to play FIFA. Of course, you can add any sayings or phrases that you like by using an edible pen and some edible wafer paper. It's really fun to do and great for birthday parties. I really hope you like my video and enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content and I'll see you next time.